Whiter shades of pale, the stuff white people like, coast to coast, from Seattle sweaters to Maine's microbrews, by Christian Lander is a satirical exploration of the cultural preferences and quirks of the so-called white people in the United States. Through witty observations, humor, and a sharp lens, Lander delves into the various trends, habits, and tastes of this demographic, aiming to both amuse and enlighten readers about the intricacies of modern American culture. Lander's book is structured as a series of short essays that dissect different aspects of white culture. From the obsession with coffee and craft beer to the preference for organic food and the love of vintage clothing, Lander covers a broad range of topics, highlighting the idiosyncrasies of white America. One of the book's strengths lies in its ability to identify and satirize these cultural trends without resorting to overt criticism or judgment. Throughout the book, Lander maintains a tongue-in-cheek tone that keeps the reader engaged. He acknowledges that he, too, is part of the demographic he is critiquing, which adds a layer of self-awareness to his commentary. This self-deprecating approach helps prevent the book from feeling mean-spirited or accusatory, allowing readers to laugh at themselves as they recognize elements of their own lives in Lander's descriptions. One of the recurring themes in the book is the idea of hipster culture. Lander humorously dissects the various elements that make up hipsterdom, from the choice of obscure music and vintage fashion to the appreciation of artisanal goods. By exploring these aspects, Lander highlights the often contradictory nature of white culture, where individuals strive to be both unique and conform to a particular set of aesthetics. This exploration of the tension between individualism and conformity adds depth to the book's analysis. Lander also explores the geographical differences in white culture, noting that certain trends and preferences are more prevalent in specific regions of the country. For example, he discusses the Portlandia phenomenon in the Pacific Northwest and the obsession with organic, farm-to-table food in California. By examining these regional variations, Lander illustrates how white culture is not monolithic but shaped by local influences and demographics. One of the book's strengths is its ability to tap into the broader socio-political context of the time. Lander doesn't shy away from discussing issues like race and privilege, albeit with a satirical touch. He highlights how certain aspects of white culture, such as gentrification and cultural appropriation, can perpetuate inequalities and reinforce stereotypes. While the book is primarily comedic in nature, these moments of reflection add depth and relevance to the analysis. Whiter Shades of Pale is also notable for its use of humor and pop culture references. Lander's writing is peppered with jokes, puns, and references to movies, music, and television shows that are likely to resonate with his target audience. This approach not only makes the book entertaining but also reinforces its message about the interconnectedness of white culture and popular media. In conclusion, Whiter Shades of Pale by Christian Lander offers a light-hearted and satirical examination of white culture in the United States. Through witty observations and humor, Lander provides readers with insights into the preferences, trends, and quirks of this demographic. While the book is primarily a comedic exploration, it also touches on important themes such as identity, privilege, and the impact of popular culture on society. By maintaining a self-aware and humorous tone, Lander invites readers to laugh at themselves while prompting them to reflect on the complexities of contemporary American culture.